Hello everyone, this is Kevin and uh, today we are going to edit a Dell BIOS. See it's Dell Inspiron 3467 and 3567. I have the old backup dump here and I downloaded the exe file from Dell website. Now I am going to make a new bin file for flashing the chip. So, here are few procedures we commonly use using the WinRAR 7-zip and like that. But here in WinRAR there is no extract option. And, but in Windows, in uh, the 7-zip we have, in 7-zip we have, uh, let's try this first. But it's giving some error like uh, cannot open the file as P E or G, so it's not gonna work. So let me do the command prompt type here. Let me simplify the name first. So I am, you know, a bit like lazy person. So here I just replace the rename the name exe slash write rom see let's see what's happening here there. so it's also giving an error so i cannot extract this file on this base so here i have some tools the first one is dell bios extractor i just drag and drop the exe file on the dell bios extractor after that you can see the exe was 6.33 MB and after the extraction or uh, we can call it decompression it become 11.4 MB and it's a, an a HDR file okay but our BIOS file is 16 MB let me open both of them in hex workshop I'm using Xshop because I'm familiar with this one only. HXDA is also a nice one, but I'm not familiar with that. So I opened both of these files. Let me take both in same window. Yeah, here you can see the starting offsets are different. Let's check with the ending. Oops, the ending also not match and the size you know it's already it's different and uh, let's check uh, do we have the file is in the right form or is it in encrypted or something uh, let's check uh, copy the offsets somewhere from here and i'm gonna check i'm gonna find and here the hex values okay. all right that's because this i have i mean the end of this so i will start it again finding from the beginning okay yeah here we have but it is in one zero 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 six double twos offset and after that we have a lot of data also there and uh, let's check where do we have anymore no we don't have so uh, it's not encrypted but the bios regions are placed in some bios regions or you know the commands are placed in some other way or some other uh, sequence so it's not at the end so we have to change the HDR file to bin file or uh, the way we want right or the format we want so here I'm using the PFS extractor I'm doing the same process like uh, the exe file I did I dragged the HDR file over PFS extractor and here I got a uh, folder and in that we can see there are a lot of files and uh, 
there is one data file 9.337 and uh, one other with 9. Here we are using the payload file. So I just copying the payload file and paste over here. Let's check what is in this also. Let me open it with text workshop. Here also we have some data like that, but it's not the way or, or we want. Let me check where it is. It is also at the same position where uh, in the uh, HDL file. So let me open the payload file. It is now changed, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So let me check where it is. Yeah, it's at the end. All right. So we have exactly a 9 MB file and uh, let's see what is 9 MB 1024 into 1024 into 9 this 9437184 exactly it is so 9037184 bytes or you can call it offset both are equal and our BIOS file is 16 MB, we need uh, 7 MB more file. So let's check what is in the 7 MB. Here I have the backup. The old dump we copied from the chip and it is 16772.16, that means uh, 16 MB. And I'm gonna cross check the end. At the ending, we can see this like almost same, like PA, all those things we got. Come on, let's come to the starting offset of this. Here, we have some codes. I'm selecting few offsets after the zero zero. Just copying this and. Uh, Going to the starting, I'm gonna find these offsets, okay. And here, yeah, you can see after the 16 zeros, it is starting. Let me check how many zeros here we have. Here also we have 16 zeros, so that means before this point, before the zero zero, we have the same data. Let me check. Let me copy all the data from that point to the beginning and I copied everything from that point to the beginning, whatever I selected and I'm going to insert here at zero and you can see now I inserted the data. Let me check how many offsets now we have. Now we have 167216. Let me check the calculation. So 1024 into 1024 into 16. So it's 167216. So we have exactly the same bytes. Now we have 16 MB5. So here after the uh, zeros or whatever we selected from that point, it's blank almost. So almost blank and we have some data at the beginning so that is our ME region I'm gonna change that ME region also with a new one so I have a tool to do that simply so I'm saving this file Let's save us new main dot bin all right we saved this let me close this and I don't want this also. So we have new main bin with old ME. I have a tool called ME inject. Let me open this and when I try to run this at first time, it's asking to specify my ME files folder first. So I have the ME files only few I selected now. I will show you from where you will get it. So here it already created a database file and whatever ME files I have it's listed here. 
So now let me open the BIOS, which one I created is new main. I'm opening this and uh, it suggested a suitable ME for me. It is 11.5.0.1058. And here I'm going to save this. So now I saved a new ME, new BIOS with a new ME. So it's totally brand new BIOS and so simple. I hope you can understand this. And the first link winray.com. There are a lot of, I mean, every pack over there you can download. CSME, TXME, everything you have. You can see the Intel ME2 from 2 to 3, 4, 5, 6, everything. You just download from there and you will get a uh, RAR folder, RAR, ex uh, RAR formatted file. Extract it and keep all them in a folder. Whenever you open this, uh, after placing some new ME files, just update the DVD.